welcome to the String Mover tutorial. My name is Daniel Walter Scott and I'm a trainer here at Bring Your Own Laptop. What we're going to be doing in this tutorial is adding the structure to our site. So we've created our container in Dreamweaver. There he is. Okay, just a nice simple grey box. Um, and just so you can visualize, this is what we're going to be creating. We're going to add a banner image box on the top. There's going to be a div tag box for the navigation. There's going to be a box for text image and then a footer kind of kind of traditional basic website so let's look at creating that all right so we've got our container div now what i'd like to do is delete this placeholder text in here so i'm just going to select it all and delete it you see it doesn't turn into much that's why they had the placeholder text there is to keep the box open but without the text it gets quite thin but that's okay we're going to insert another div okay so you can either use your insert panel here on the right or you can use your insert panel along the top it's up to you um, insert div. Now remember where is this going to go? We want it to be inside our container. So we're going to say after the start of container. I would like this heading to start. It's going to have an ID of heading. We're going to click OK. Great. Let's just double check in our code view and in source code that there's my container. It opens up and inside of that there is a div okay, called heading. Okay, so you can see he opens there and closes, so he's inside my container, definitely. Let's go back to design view, and let's style this heading now. So, let's make sure you're in CSS. Let's collect, add a selector, and it's picked container and heading. I just want to style just the heading. And I'd like it to be a width of pixels 1024, the same as my container. But I'm going to actually have a height on this one. Okay, so I want to make it a height rather than a stretchy one. So I'm going to make it a height of pixels. I'm going to make this one 250 and hit enter. You'll see my website adjusts over here. Maybe 250 is a bit big. Now, very often you'll leave the heights blank in lots of div tags. Why? Because you'll let the content that goes inside it push it open. But in this tutorial, we're trying to create a bit of structure, so we're going to leave heights in it for the moment. And if you get any trouble with um, heights, you can go through and remove them once you've got the structure in. Great, let's have a background color for this. So let's go to background, and let's pick a background color. And I'm going to pick for this one, let's pick uh, pink. Okay, so I picked a magenta, click enter. Can you see? The heading is kind of completely now over the top of the container. You can't see the container. He's there. The way to check he's there is you can see in code view. There's my container. He's still there. But he has the same width and this height's kind of over, uh, over going over the container. You can also check with this thing down the bottom here. Okay, I love this part. It is your tag selector. It says that I'm in something called the heading, which is inside something called the container, which is inside the body. Now the body is everything in this document that the user sees. You can see here, there's my body tag. So body tag starts there and it ends there. Everything inside of here is what the web, uh, what your web users see. Great. Cool, so I'm gonna delete the text out of it. We don't need him. Let's look at adding the navigation. So it's gonna be the thin bar that runs just underneath here. So let's go to insert. Let's go to insert div tag and this one is going to go after my heading so it's just underneath i'm going to use an id of nav click ok he sits underneath okay and we're going to give him a size and a color now so to do that just like we do with the heading we're going to make sure we're in the main.css in the selectors we're going to hit plus and we're going to do it just to the nav let me zoom in Get rid of everything except just the navigation. And I'd like to have a width of pixels 1024. So I want it to go right the way across. And the height of this one though is going to be 80. So I'm gonna have 80 pixels across. Background color, we're gonna have yellow. So I'm gonna move yellow, great. Zoom back out. Great, so we've got a nav, it's actually a little big. Let's go back to uh, layout and make it 50 awesome great let's do our next block which is going to be this one here it's going to be the text block so let's go to insert okay, let's move the time insert div tag where's this one going to go it's going to go after the nav 
So after the tag of nav, I'd like to put in the ID of, it's gonna be called text. All right, let's click okay. Cool, he's underneath there. He's gonna have a slightly thinner, so he is going to be um, a width of about 900. Okay, and we'll fill the rest with the rest of them with, the, with the other box. So let's create a CSS sheet for him. So make sure main.css, add plus on selectors. Let's get rid of everything but the text. And we're gonna have a width of 900 pixels. And we're gonna have a height of this one of, let's have a pixel height of 400. Great, so he's 400 pixels high and 900 pixels wide. Let's give it a background color. Let's pick green. Great. You can see you've got this gap left over on the side here. This is going to be the gap for, um, uh, this is gonna be yeah, the gap where we add our, which one is that one? It is our image side. Okay, so we're gonna leave that tutorial there and we'll look at doing the image on the next part, and we're gonna to have to look at something called float.